going to be some pictures for today's children's story. Um, so, I just went on a bit of an adventure. I was gone for about seven months, and I wanted, went on a trip to Africa to be a missionary. And I went as a school teacher, and I taught lots of little kids, and it was interesting. But while I was in Africa, there's this thing called a safari, which is where you get to go in a truck and drive around through the African wilderness and look at animals. So I got to do that a couple of times. And really, all safari means in Swahili, one of the languages of Africa, is it just means an adventure or a trip. But while I was on safari, I had the opportunity to see some really cool animals, and I want to show you some of the pictures that I took. So I'm sure you guys know some of the animals that I'll show you, but there might be a few new ones. This is a zebra. It's kind of like a horse, but it lives in Africa, and it has stripes. It's pretty cool. Next. That's a warthog. It's like a pig, but it has horns so it can defend itself. And it's from the Lion King. It's called Pumbaa. That, that's a puku. It's, uh, it's kind of like an impala, but it's really furry. You can see it has lots of hair. There's some black-faced vervet monkeys, and there's a little baby, and that's a mom taking care of it. And a giraffe. Everybody knows a giraffe. The crocodile, those things are pretty scary. You're not allowed to go in the water in Africa just because these things. And a baby lion. This was one of the cutest things I saw on safari. And lions are normally ferocious and scary, and you don't want to go near them. But this baby was pretty cute. And that's a Cape buffalo. It's another one of the African big five. They're really, they're like cows, but they're not as stupid. And. <laughs> And they have really big horns, so they can hurt you. <laughs> and yes, in Africa, they have penguins. On the coast of South Africa, near Cape Town, they have a penguin population. And so what you think only exists in Antarctica also exists in Africa. And that's pretty cool. And that thing off in the distance is a sable antelope. Um, they're really rare, and they're kind of cool, too. I don't know too much about them. Next. And an elephant. The biggest land mammal in the world is the African elephant. And these things are pretty scary. While we were in Africa, they flipped over somebody's car because they got angry. So that was kind of exciting. But they, they kind of make you scared if you go too close. And this is one of the rarest animals in Africa. It's called an African wild dog, or the Cape hunting dog. And it's not like a hyena. It's cooler. When they go out to kill, because they have to eat other animals for food, they successfully kill their prey 75% of the time, which is better than any other African animal, because they hunt in teams and work together. But that's a different children's story. Here's a couple Impala fighting. And this was, there's a hippo. The big fat things that sit in the water and they'll bite, bite you if you go in. It's the other reason why you can't go in the water. I think that's the end. Yay. Well, there's a hymn in our hymn book that talks a little bit about all the animals that God created and how special they are. It's hymn number 93. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. And verse 5 is really cool. It says, He gave us eyes to see them, and lips that we might tell. How great is God Almighty, who has made all things well. And what's really cool is God didn't just create animals that we see here on a daily basis. He didn't just create the awesome animals in Africa. He created you and he created me. And we're special because God decided he wanted to make us exactly how we were. So never forget that God is concerned about how he made you and he made you with a plan and a purpose.
Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for making us so special and that we're all different and that we're all unique. Um, help us to remember that and to live life with a sense of individuality and purpose that you've given us. Amen.